here's a situation where the city installed no parking signs without the common courtesy of discussing it with the immediate residents to see if there'd be any adverse effect to us. This is done so on the sole benefit of the mother of the handicapped child. Now, I understand the situation and don't have a problem with special privileges for her, but with her problems put a burden on me and cause inconveniences when there's no reason for that, then that's a problem. In this video, I'm speaking to the bus driver at this moment, and he stated that he never requested the signs, he's never had a problem, he's always reversed with or without cars, and we were told that the signs had to be there so that the bus would not reverse. So if he's reversing, anyways, why are the signs installed? And since he didn't request them, Jack Paseco didn't request them as the auditor, the safety auditor of the Pinellas County School Board, and who requested the sign and why? It is clear that a better plan can be done here, a schematic plan, for a favorable solution for everyone in the world. You can see the bus now is backing up to one of the new parking zones, which he has avoided before as well. But you'll see that as he goes forward, he'll have to clear the right side of the parking zone for more than two car lines, therefore rendering that sign irrelevant. In addition, the signs don't state or have any notation of non-school days or holidays, therefore the signs or the no parking is enforced all the time, which is not correct according to the MUTCD manual for highway safety.